I don't want. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready to stream. Just opening the game. Now, the thing is, remember, this is one of the games that sometimes runs badly. Hello, Mighty Fighter. Hello, Kate M. Kurt, and thank you for the uh, for the sneaky offline sub. Um, greatly appreciate it. Uh, okay, let's let's get into the stream. Uh, let's go with let's go with the good one. Let's go with the good one. I don't think bad physics is. I don't think bad physics is good. They're back, and so am I. It's me. Hello, everyone. Um, I hope you're well. I should get their other. I should get. I need to. I need to clip their other little wrap into something, don't I? I need to clip their their awful little wrap into something. I'll think about that. But uh, yeah, I hope you're well. Um, hope you enjoyed Sean's stream. I only saw a little bit of it because I was, I was, I was, I was having lunch. Was having lunch, didn't go. It was actually it was fine. It was fine. Hello, RK. Uh, I made a stir fry, mighty fighty. But I, I made a sort of homemade satay sauce. But it, but I I I wasn't paying attention, and it 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 split a little bit, and I couldn't be bothered to fix it. But it was fine. It was fine. I'm not doing Shrek Timber prep, although I do need to do Shrek Timber prep. Um, right, let's get into let's get into this because we can we can chat while we're picking mushrooms, can't we? We can chat while we're picking mushrooms. Um, we can chat while we're picking mushrooms. Now I think we found game capture didn't work very well. My friend once tried to make a soup for me and it accidentally turned into a stir fry. I suppose they're not that different. Right, okay, let's go let's go with a classic window capture. Who this is good, this is good, this is good preemptive uh, Shrek chat, uh Kato Kurtz. Have we got our card yet on mushroom game? I don't know what that means. Which makes me think no. Okay, you getting you getting game audio? Oh, you're not getting game visuals. <laughs> why? Why is that? Why is that not working? Why is that not working? It's because the game's crap as well. It's not working. What? Oh, why? <laughs> Hang on, I'll show you, what's, I'll show you something else, isn't it? Right, okay. Is this more dynamic? No. Why doesn't that work? That's really weird. It just freezes. Uh, I need to refresh. I need to refresh the thing. How do I do that? Sorry, everyone. I will be with you in a minute. Done it. No. David Shrekham. David Shrekham is a good pun. 
Sorry, just bear with me for a second. Oh, no, that's the back end of that. Okay, how about this? I, I, I have no idea what this is. This is such an odd thing to not be working. Okay, let's... Um, Okay, that's worked. This is such a... <laughs> it's such a, a weirdly badly made game that it breaks in just ways you wouldn't expect. Okay, um... Okay, okay, we, we, right. Uh, back to menu. Uh, now that's not the audio that stopped working on the... That's not OBS. That just, the audio just stopped. And now it started again. Oh, good work, okay. <laughs> OLED Shrekham Jr. That's how you do Madden. That's the point. Bread Santa said he thought he thought of a way that I could play Madden in Shrek Timber, but I don't think elaborated. So I won't have to press Bread Santa on that. Okay, we don't have a license. That's a problem. Uh, let's. Let's get a license. Yeah, that's right. O Odell Beckham Jr. is a, is an American football player, isn't he? A receiver. That's the limit of my knowledge. He sort of caught it on his hat that one time. That's that's the thing he did. He sort of caught it on his hat. Yeah, I mean, I was being. I'm sort of being flipping my face. I know it's called a helmet. Right, let's just... Okay, so to get the generator, which is the first graphic, we need, we need $500 and we've got $19. So we're nowhere near on that. To get the book of mushrooms, we need $1,200. We've got $19, we're nowhere near that. Yeah, we've got binoculars. Right, everything, everything is so far away. You know so little about sports, you were genuinely confused about sports hats. Uh, of course I could just play Madden as part of, of as part of sport sports night. Although my sports night plans for the next few weeks will be watching uh will be watching Big Egg Russell Universe. Uh, which I'm genuinely looking forward to. I, I think that's gonna be really good. Uh, let's go to the forest. How are the levels on the game audio? Let's just get into the forest. Let's get into the forest. Let's get some mushrooms. Good levels, thank you. Obviously there's now no audio. No audio, very long loading screens. I was trying to work out um, if there were different maps, and maybe there will be. Looking forward to see some of the big eggs. Well, unfortunately, Gumlon, the big egg is the name of the venue. The big egg is the nickname for the uh, the Tokyo Dome, uh, Japan's largest arena. It's called the big egg because it look it looks like looks like an egg. Uh, oh. Um, Exclamation mark truck probably won't help you too much on this, on this with this one. But I suppose I could do turns if you want. If you want to do turns, I should have. I haven't edited the message. Because well, I don't think it's related to the birds. Right. Okay. Let's let's two begin. Let's two begin. Let's two begin. Let's get some mushrooms. Uh, what what can I was okay right let's work out where we are that's the first do we reckon we're at... okay we're here that's there okay okay this is a club this is we've done this one before there is no explanation about mushroom <laughs> what would you like what would you like explanation about mushroom to do I want to have different mushroom picking game uh, commands. 
Why are these? This scenery looks weird. Go deep into the woods. Well, I look, if you really want, I guess we can do, I guess you could set rules if you, if you really want to do deep into the wood. I haven't yet got expression about Shrek. Uh, no, I do need to think about Sporgust. Um, not Sporgust. I do need to think about Sporgust. That's now. I do need to think about Shrek Timber. Um, I don't know what people's expectations for Shrek Timber are because uh, I think you just like saying it. I think you like saying it. Oh, there's a mushroom. There's no explanation about donkey. Okay, there we go. Hello, Rosanna. Very brief hello. Oh, that's that. That's that's fine. If you're your full Shrek costume and green face, please. Green paint. Yeah, that is that is a good point. Wait, if I did, Rosanna, a, a briefer hello would have just been hi. Yeah, I don't really want to do a Scottish accent, and I certainly don't want to do Donkey's voice. I don't think it'll be alright to do Donkey's voice. Because the thing is, Shrek is already a, a slightly off Scottish accent being done by a... Is he Canadian? Is my, my Myers Canadian? I don't want to... I don't want to hear... Uh, oh, there you go. I, I didn't... I didn't fall into the, you know, of saying he was American. But Shrek is modelled on Chris Farley. I don't think I know who Chris Farley is. Okay, I'm not seeing any other mushrooms, unfortunately. Now Ben's done a sort of surprised face. Yeah, that's that's what I said, Albrot. J H said they. He was the Belushi of the nineties. Oh, is that right? And he just swooped in at the end. Right, there's the bus stop. We could take our one mushroom and go. Yeah, okay, well that is that is sad. Uh, F's F's for uh, F's for, for for the original Shrek. Well, and then, so they got Mike Moses to do an impression of the guy that died. I, do, I don't think I knew that. Very disrespectful stream. I suspect if I Google Chris Farley, I will know who that is, but... No, no, off the top of my head. I don't think I have ever heard of Chris Farley. Oh, it was completely different. I think that's more respectful. He just used a normal American voice. <laughs> right, bye, Rosanna. Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for dropping in long enough to learn that the original Shrek died during the making of Shrek. Oh, there's a mushroom. Oh, I have seen I married an axe murderer. 
So I can use that knowledge to know who Chris Farley is. Yes, a brief buy. That's Mike Myers? Oh no. Like, I will look into, I will learn who Chris Farley is in my own time. <laughs> Off stream. I don't recognise him or any of his movies. I think it's one for the press on generation. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Beverly Hills. Now I have seen Beverly Hills Ninja. Oh no. Attention in front of the swamp, go back. The last time we tried to slightly ignore that warning, we um, we ended up kind of soft locked behind a tree. He's the titular ninja in Bone Hills. Okay, okay, I I do know who that is. Okay, I'm going to play this safe. We don't have any money, here, so I'm not going to go too deep into the forest. It wasn't as well known in the UK. He would have been Kevin James in the Great... Would he? Okay. I, I apologise uh, for not knowing who Chris Farley is. Although, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't malicious. Now, I know who Kevin James is. Kevin James is Paul Blart Mall Cop. That's Kevin James, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, from the Blart side of the moon. Yeah, that's that's right, yeah. Where the hell are these mushrooms? Till death do us blart. Oh, there's a mushroom, there's a mushroom. Oh, we're stuck behind a tree. There it is. Okay, whatever weather this is, it's very shady and makes it hard to see the mushrooms. There's a mushroom. That's uh, called something sailor. I should have introduced the game to people that hadn't seen it before, but it's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, this is Mushroom Picker Simulator. Uh, we are picking mushrooms. Um, it is, it's a uh, frankly quite bad, quite bad, very bad Russian made game. Um, It's sort of, you know, in its in its way, quite relaxing. Blarty Rock is in the house tonight. Hello, the the B and M bandit. There is just an explanation mark blart. <laughs> what would you what would you want it to do? I thought it was a snake, it was a flower.
Kevin James could pop up in his little segue. Yeah, that would be good. Although, <laughs> what's that going to do with the stream? That's never come up in the stream. That said, there used to be a lot of alerts that could come up on here that didn't have much to do with the stream. Although, to be fair, I've culled a lot of those, and I do think I do think the stream is better for it. I bet you like Akira Toriyami. You know nothing about manga. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good point. It's a good point, my Tifoti. It is quieter. I mean, well, it's quieter at times. At other times, it's it's louder. I, I, you know, it's less sonically unpleasant. I think, L like consistently. I appreciate you have a lot of things on your stream, Albro. But yours are better made than mine were. Your things, there's more craft to your things than mine. Ow. Oh, oh no, I've been bitten by a snake. I can't even see the snake. No, okay, we should stop looking at the snake and get out of here. That's my leg. Where's the snake? No, let's get this. Let's not. Let's stop looking at the snake and get out of here. You don't understand what everyone said. Well, I'm not anti fizzy. I just, I just, I just, um, I just thought people would prefer the streams when they can see the content of the stream. You know. I think the snake was trying to be my friend. What with his teeth? Well, what building's this? Is this this building? In which case, we could be fucked. <laughs> We've walked a long way past the bus stop. Okay, the way the poison the, the snake bite seems to work is is you just die. There's no way of seeing how poisoned you are. You just in a minute will just die. Well, not even in a minute. At what feels like a random interval of time, we'll just die. It's not linked to our thirst or our uh, energy. I don't know how you can say it. Your, 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 your things are good, Albrot. I like your stream. to educate people on who Paul Bearer is just so they'll understand your raid alert. Though admittedly it still needs quite a lot of context they don't have. Right, okay, the bus stop's over there. Problem is we did only pick up five mushrooms. But we are going to die, so I think we should just take our mushrooms and run. Okay, we've never survived a snake bite before, so I think this is new territory for us. This feels like a good, this feels like a good, you know, this feels like a moral win. Oh, fuck. And I've, I've left the bus stop, I've left the bus stop. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. We're going to stay here. Okay, we're going to stay Okay, that's fine.
Okay, we got $19 for that. The game's completed. You successfully escaped from the forest. It is a good example. I think it's a good alert. I mean, I think we lost money because uh, I think it costs it costs twenty dollars to buy a license. No, I think we broke even, but we didn't die. Right, let's go back to the forest. To be fair, Mighty Fatty, I think it's only Catbox that, that, that seem to be particularly anti-Fizz. I've always, I've always encouraged a reckless level of fizziness. Thank you, thank you, Albert. We don't, we don't have an exclamation mark, congrats. Maybe we should have. Maybe we should have an alert for when something good happens. We've got that, so we've got the good content one. Uh, Fizzness is like the tide's coming. Well, yeah, exactly. I would say that's my position, Sean. Oh, okay, it's Misty. Okay, we're here. So going in one direction will take us oh, to a bus yes, stop. Here we go. Ding, dang, dang. Yeah, there's the good content alert. Okay. Let's... I reckon we could control the tides if we fucked the moon up a bit. Be a crab, not canute. Oh, okay, yeah, I get it. Oh, oh, mushroom, mushroom. Bit of Rusula Tursi. Maybe that can be October's donation guy. What, to fuck the moon up? I think it would need to be quite a big donation goal. Yeah, ex exactly. How much? What? Come along. What? What would I set it to? What would I set it to? What would the goal be? In the main, you know. Two fists. I'm not going to ask people to donate their fists. Shrek was enormous. Shrek was a well, Shrek's of a guy. <laughs> I don't do budget management. You're a civil servant, Gamelon. Is that not the kind of thing not the kind of thing you're good at? Oh, you've got enough for your play. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. It's like a busman's holiday. Yeah, fair enough. I thought we'd sold all the plates. I don't think we ever had these plates. Trying to figure out the yeah, okay. We're digging for UFOs. We're looking for the thing. Now I'm starting to worry I've gone the wrong way down this path, but there is a mushroom, so it all's not lost. Slap okay. Oh, 
I would like more information on the mushrooms we're picking up, but um, the mushroom book is is uh, is paywalled. Oh, mushroom. Hig, okay, hig, hig, okay, we picked, we picked out right. Oh, there's one, there's one. Bear in mind, the civil servant has got a wild story about releasing beavers during lockdown to try and reintroduce them to the wild. Ow. Oh no, I've got leg injury. Which I think just occurs randomly. That means I can't sprint now. We're approaching Solar Max. Maybe the sun can help us out with some flares. Is that the Gong Wei? Best watch out for Slogoth stinging in the Antarctic and those giant albino penguins. <laughs> I'll look forward to it, Albrot. His legs look fine, though. Hello, Fluff Weasel. We're playing a Mushroom Picker Simulator. We've just got a random leg injury. I think it's random. It could just be a mechanic of the game I, I don't understand. But I don't I think it must just be random. Oh, there's a mushroom. That, no, that's just a stick. Fine. I found an old DSI and had a look at the photos. I've still got some of the previous owner from 2010. Uh, I don't know what a DSI is. I have been foraging to mushrooms with an expert. It was fun. There's a pretty loud hum from a stream. Oh yeah, there's a... Can anyone else hear a hum? I, I tell you, I can hear a hum. There is... There is an IRL hum. Um, uh, it's louder for me. Attention! Oh no, we are in front of the swamp. It will stop in it. It will stop in a minute, Albrock. Don't worry. Okay, the hum should have finished. You didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Okay. The hum is the hum is finished. It's just that it was environment. It was noise out of my window. Oh, Nintendo DS. Oh, okay. Yeah, th thank you. Thank you for reporting the hum. Right, so we're he we're here, though, aren't we? So there should be a bus stop at the end of that road. This road. So let's just keep. Let's just stick to the road. We've got an injured leg. Was it? A it could have been. It could have been. I mean, I think it was a more mechanical sound than that. But maybe I just don't know bird calls. I should have had that app on that tells you what birds it is. What birds you can hear. You know, the bird noise app. Do I leave these photos here as a monument in time or do I delete them? Yeah, what, what do people think? Merlin bird ID. Yeah, that's 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 the that's the app, yeah. I um I tried to impress my well not impress my dad. I thought he'd be interested in it. Um, which he sort of was, but he's he's pretty uh, he's pretty app phobic. Mm. 
what other methods do I? I've sort of given up. I think. I think. Uh, I think. I think all the conventional ways of trying to impress your parents have, have failed miserably for me. That said, I did just cook him a satay sauce. So that was one of them, I guess. Yeah, it's probably not the worst kind of phobias going on. Does it let you collect the birds you've heard, like the trading cards? I think it sort of does, yeah. I think you can sort of keep a list. Yeah, all right, but he's not going to be impressed, Mighty Fighty, is he? It's not ruined, it's just, it's just not good. Which I suppose is a type of ruined, isn't it? Actually, it wasn't not good. It just it just split. It just split a bit. Not good. So, leaving these photos where they are. So I don't recall if I got this from a family member or not. <laughs> But being there, it, surely you can see, you can see who it used to belong to. But yeah, if they're not in the way, I guess you can keep them. And here's a mushroom. Aminata. Okay, we'll, we'll never know. We'll never know what mushroom it was. So the four photos of someone and their mum can say, okay, great. <laughs> yeah, feel free. free to put them in the Discord. We'll see if we can match them up to an owner. We've left the road. These photos are from twenty seven. I don't remember anything past ten years. Yeah, that is that is that is longer ago than uh, that is longer ago than than I can comfortably remember. What was I doing in twenty ten? What was I doing in twenty ten? I was a student, I guess. Oh, hang on, was I? Yeah, yeah, I was. Like, I feel like I'm familiar with them, but then again, they look like a lot of people, and then I'm okay, yeah. Uh, where's the road over here? We're all carried away by Clegg Mania. Yeah. Yeah. Remember Clegg Mania? You're sorry. That's that's fine, King of Time. You're forgiven. Do you not know remember Clegmania? Oh yeah, I can't sprint because I've got leg injury. Oh. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, these don't. There's no. There's no extra buttons. So. Resume. The era of I group. Yeah. Do you not? Know, King of Times about twelve, aren't they? I thought the Lib Dems would appeal to King of Time. Oh, 
Ah, that's from Middle of the Road, aren't they? Lib Dems like vanilla ice cream. Which, which month are you allowed to play Cheggers Party Quiz on PS2? What is Cheggers Party Quiz? Wow, that is a sticky floor, my devotee. Twenty ten. It was twenty ten, wasn't it? The election. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I think that's the election. I <laughs> I'd won a pub quiz on the election night, and the prize was a bar tab. So I think I think we stayed in the pub the whole night and watched the election coverage and spent the full prize. I think that was that election. No, and it's pros and cons. Yeah. Right, we're up to eight mushrooms. I don't remember what our I don't remember what our PB number of mushrooms is. I think we've survived so few times it's probably very low. John Blythe at PC Zone rated the game ten out of hundred, calling it a bottom feeding attempt to draw nourishment from the Chegwin name. <laughs> what that this game? Mushroom Picker Simulator? Well, King of Time's more the quiz guy. Maybe King of Time will play uh, Keith Chagwin's puzzle game. <laughs> PS2. Chagger's party quiz. Do you know who Keith Chagwin is, King of Time? Oh, there's a bus stop. To see the incredulity of yes I know who Keith Chegwin is. I suppose King of Time is a quiz show host expert. Why do you think I'm twelve? <laughs> I just know that you're here. You look so youthful, Kyoto. You look very youthful. I'm glad I'm no longer the only one peppered with, you know, this awful TV name is question. I'm sorry, Albrot. To be fair, people also went through a phase of asking Sean if he knew who anyone was after the Little Mix uh, thing. Anyone who isn't a POG is 12 to feet. Yeah, exactly. Mighty Fighty's got it. You've got a youthful glow and a general jour de vivre. That's a weird looking mushroom, isn't it? Okay, I'm wary of dying now when we've got nine mushrooms in the sack. In 2000, Chuck presented his own internet TV show where his daily audience for the seven-week trial reached over 250,000 people. Chuck presented the Yorkshire TV-made Channel 5 nudist game show, Naked Jungle, appearing naked except for a hat. He identified making the show as the worst career move in his life.
I don't know if it was a bad career move. I think it was a bad thing to do, but I don't, it hardly ruined his career, did it? <laughs> to clarify now that I know who Glenn was. I'm sorry, it was very weird to check. Yeah, there's a good point, King of Time. You, you cannot be... You cannot be incre in, 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 incredulous at us mentioning Nick Clegg and then for us saying you're young. Uh, Hurt was here. I found 10 mushrooms. Which I think if I just go now would be a PB. For surviving. I think I've had more in the bag, but I've always died. Oh, hang on, hang on. 11 mushrooms. <laughs> Paul B. Bearer. Oh, there's a mushroom. What can you do with the mushrooms in the game? Well, when you leave, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, uh, you instantly just off-screen sell them for money. And then you can use the money to buy more licenses to go back to the woods, or upgrade your hut, or buy various bits of equipment. Some of which feel like you should just have them at the start. But can't eat. No, there there are foods. You can you can have food to fill your food bar up. But um, we don't have that yet. You can have a ham sandwich that which people were briefly excited by um, when we were first playing the game. Is that a steak? That's a stick. That's a stick. Can you buy a pig? That, that would be good, wouldn't it? I would... Ch well, yeah, I'd rapidly change my opinion on this game if you could get a truffle pig. I've got 12 mushrooms. Okay, we'll just stay safe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you just have your, it's a tingling mushroom sense. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. Do we do we stick or twist here? Do we do we take our do we take our thirteen mushrooms and go, or do we? We've still got a little bit of. We still. You can see. You can see up here the bars. We've still got a little bit of energy left. Bang! It's not the weakest link. Our bars are quite low. We do have leg injury. Bear that fact that it's your decision making. Okay, we'll just we we'll just see if there's one near any any nearby ones. Oh, there is one. There is one. That was Bibber. Uh, pet, uh. Favorite bank and bank. Favorite weakest link episode. Mine's the one with the lookalikes. What like like lookalikes of famous people? I can't really remember. I obviously watched the weakest link. King of Time will have. Opinions on the weakest link, I suspect, as a quiz show expert. If he remembers it, that is. Right, let's go. We've got 14 mushrooms. Can we click through this? Can you click through this? Yep. Let's go, let's go. I'm 
was a whole one of Elvis's or Elvisy. Aaron Robinson, she is very mean. There we go. We successfully escaped from the forest. Ninety-five dollars. Hello, Hondo said. Hello, Bread Santa. You've just arrived in time for this triumph. She's not mean, she's just fun. I think she's mean. Wasn't she called the Queen of Mean? Paxman has a softer side, though. Hmm. I'm thinking of Elizabeth. What's the Queen of Mean doing on that roof? No, she's outright horrid and was often classist and homophobic. Yeah, and kept saying bad things about the Welsh, I think. She's an absolute horror. I, I agree. If a, if a mod wants to do a poll, uh, I'm, I'm glad to get this, I'm happy to get this confirmed. Right, I'm going to take a quick uh, toilet break in this moment of triumph. I'll be back in a minute. Um, Try for anyone that will be entering Ad Hell. But it's, it's for the greater good. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Is that true? It, 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 is that is she no longer the countdown host? Anyway, look, we can talk about this in a minute. I, I need to go to the toilet. Thank you for setting up the poll. Okay, there's a poll active. Okay, we're we'll back in a minute. Yeah, she, she was sacked by Kano. I like Colin Murray. I've not seen any of his countdown presenting. Okay, let's see what the poll decides. She was sacked for being too kind, is that true? Murray set, stepped in quite quickly, I think, because he's been in the dictionary for a lot. He stepped in to host a show on occasion before. Oh, okay, so he was like a like a caretaker host. Yeah, that makes sense. He's too young to host Kate Bang. That's an old man's job, isn't it? Right, let's go back to the mushrooms. Wasn't she caught having sex? Is that is that true, Honda Zed? Is that true? Big, big. That's big, that's big news of truth. It's 
Big news, big news of truth. Harry, Harry would know. Right, let's go to menu. I said, let's go to menu. Okay, we're going to menu. Trevor McDonald hosted it once for Channel 4's Black to Front project. He was brilliant. I think we just decided Fluffy is co currently Colin Murray. Okay. Oh, uh, all right. So what? What's our aim? I guess we could buy five licenses. Okay, we can't. Right, we're still on mission one. <laughs> Because we can't get ten in edible. We don't know which mushrooms are edible or inedible. I'm sorry, laboratory worker. We can't buy these anyway, right? Because... No, because we need to improve the hut before we can take a can of drink with us. No, no fluff weasel. There is no mechanic to see because we haven't got the book of mushrooms. Oh, it looks like Anne Robinson is officially mean. Yeah, I know, I know, fluff weasel. It's a bad game. It's a bad game. I guess that. Let's buy licenses. Let's get back to the forest. Yeah, we're gonna get picky bread. Don't worry. But bought some. I bought some licenses. We now just need to load up on mushrooms, and then we can get. We can maybe think about getting the book of mushrooms, or we're getting a generator for our hut. Just have to wait for the. Uh... <laughs> Just have to wait for the load time. Yes, he hello, buddy. Book of Mushrooms. Yeah, I would say Fluffy or maybe it seems so important that it's obscene you don't have it from the start. I would say the compass is also quite useful, considering you can only have a static map. Okay, let's two begin. Uh, I may maybe Gomelon, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'll check it out, but I think it's like a thousand dollars. Okay, so right, this is the same starting position as before, right? Okay, this is this is fine. We can we can do this. trick is not to stand on the very difficult sea snakes and not to get lost which is also very easy to do also there doesn't seem to be much skill involved in finding the mushrooms they seem to just be randomly there though. it could be quiz cheaper on amazon oh the thank you somebody okay well it's time for a quiz okay well i could look, i could try and pause but as we'll learn this does nothing there is no pausing. Uh, who, that was King of Time. Thank you, King of Time. Okay. Uh, let me... How oh, all my window captures broke, didn't they? Okay, that's been... Okay. It's still showing the front page of Mushroom Simulator. No, show me the internet, please. Okay. There we go. Okay. Going to run into the wood. I can't they get we're doing a quiz interrupted. Okay. 
So for anyone who doesn't know about the quiz interruptions, uh, if we're quiz interrupted, we just have to do a little quiz on sparkle.com, which fits the theme of the month, and then we can go back to the game. This one is Profile Charles Darwin. Can you name the following facts about Charles Darwin? Now, I've only met Charles Darwin once, and we were mainly talking about spore. Okay, let's play the quiz. 15 answers, 4 minutes. First name of the daughter who died in... 1851, the age of 10, I don't know. The year of birth, I don't know. Discovered the theory of natural evolution at the same time and independent from Darwin. About oh, his ship was the Beagle. That's one. Name his grandfather and older brother. Well, they were the same person. Were well, they also called Charles? But I, I, no, I don't know them. Author of the book, the essay on the principle of population which influenced Darwin, name of Darwin's wife, place of residence from 1842 to death, year of publication of his book. The ship's captain was nicknamed Darwin's Bulldog. That's right, yeah, he did talk a lot about spending the, the, the DNA points. Geologist who wrote the principles of geology, volume one, which Darwin read on his voyage. Opponent of social Darwinism who coined the phrase the survival of the fittest. I thought that was Darwin. No, okay, well, name one of the three anglicised Fugians who accompanied Darwin back to Patagonia. You think 1859 is worth a go? You were right about 1859 on the Z. Oh, right, well, I don't, don't know any of these. Why don't I know more about Darwin? We've only met once. Also, I've got I know that I've got Darwin, haven't I? I can talk I can talk to Darwin every week. I don't need to I've met Darwin. Well, not only only you, King of Time. Only you. Everyone else saw Darwin on Tuesday. Exactly, we've got Darwin at home. We've got Darwin at home. Um, okay, I, has everyone else met Darwin really, well, yeah, if it, well, I, we weren't, it's not called evolution, Tober, is it? It's not called evolution, Gust. Uh, name Darwin's child, I don't know any of these things. Who's a famous geologist or essayist? Evolution Tober is good. Yeah, I haven't decided what to do. Okay, year of birth. Um, something like 1840. No way. I was sure it was the uh, 1840s. The Rock. I can try. I can try. It was 1809. Okay, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't the rock. It wasn't the rock. Let's fight um, it. Ta Tabitha. Sorry, you spell it. I don't know. I don't know. It's all his name. Uh, it was Annie. Alfred Russell Wallace. I have heard of that. Erasmus was there with his grandfather. Malthus. I did know that. If I thought about it, did not know his wife's name was Emma Wedgwood. I didn't know his. He lived in Down House. I did not know about Robert Fitzroy. I didn't know Thomas Henry Huxley. I would not have got Charles L Lyell. Didn't didn't know her. Didn't know the Mount. Didn't know any of these things. 
didn't know Fugia Basket. What's the name of that guy who did the cheers on time to? That was bad. I apologise, King of Time. I've got 20%. The average is only 36, though. It's a tough quiz. Right, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a random we're gonna do a random sporkle quiz. Try and get us out of quiz interruption. Nine letter word fill in the blank. Can you piece together the nine letter words from the three part clues? <laughs> Every blank represents three letters. Oh God. Alright, it's 20, we've got seven minutes. Every so is every every man for himself. Oh Manhattan, right? Oh okay, but spelt right. Yeah. Uh countdown has nine letter words, but they don't really so Daniel in the Lions Den. Uh Tis so and then oh uh, d uh d try dentistry. With this wing ring I we I the wed like a walking clock super nez I guess and I seize the day okay this is good this is good bomb dot I guess com com pack Ted good arm and hammer uh. Is uh, uh, then ice monkey con good guess. Uh, it's dismal, you know, a pay per view, and then uh, oh, desperado nice. The pen is mighty in the sword, something you're it. Oh, tag. Um, Pencil, or it could be Tig. No, Tag. Dodge. Dodge something pickup truck. Yeah, but that's not going to... Because it's got two Gs, right? Pentacab. We'll come back to that one. That something then, this is now. But it's Tel Aviv, trial and error. So, so it's something, something Tel and. Uh, and it's that something that and, and, no. Ab. Oh, cab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's, that's, um, pen, tag. No. Mm -hmm. It's not a word, though, is it? It's not a word. Oh, it could be a Dodge Ram. Yeah, yeah, yeah that would work. That would work. Pentagram. What? That... Something then, this is now. You're all about another one. Oh, sorry. Oh, so is that one? That was, was tell, wasteland. Was tell land. Kick the can down the road. I see what you did there. The dog ate my hell candidate. Any for your thoughts. Britain's got talent. Ten commandments. We've got some. Ter uh, Del Fuego, maybe? Now. I've seen everything. Uh, red. Delivered, yeah. Uh, mid air collision. Uh, cog cogito ergo ego. All right. Mal's air. Uh, oh, uh, seasickness. Mal de mer. Yeah, midsummer. Got. Okay, okay, fine. You're right, God fat her. Uh, Ant Man. Ark to Triumph. Tick Tac Toe Antarctic. I walked into a bar. A bar mitzvah. Sir Ian but Barbarium. New car smell. Shop till you drop. In this day and age. Cartilage. How I met your mother. You had me. Ha ha 
Uh, hello. Filthy birds with one stone. Methodo. Par for the course. Indian Pale Ale. <coughs> Sorry. And then it's Gal Gadot, isn't it? Paralegal. Uh, Cab Callaway. Rio de Janeiro. Uh, live and let live. Cabriolet. Back to the bitter. Andrew, I think someone said earlier, didn't they? Les Miserables. And then... Um, so there's a fox. Hello, Dr. Pam. We're doing a quiz. It's quite a good one, actually. Anyway, we're about to... Oh man, Lesbrod, uh, something is a fox, sly is a fox, sly is a fox. Endlessly. 100%. Sorry, I got distracted by explaining the quiz. Basically, there was three clues, they were all a three-letter word, and it made a nine-letter word in total. And we got 100%. That was, ama that was as amazing as watching an avocado ride a unicorn. Hmm. But there we go, 100%. Right, and now let's see. I assume we're absolutely fine. Yeah, that was lol. That was lol. Random, wasn't it? It's like, it's like that, what the um, the critic guy would have done. Okay, we have lost a little bit of energy there, but we're fine. We're fine. Uh, where are we? Uh, but thank you, King of Time. Uh, the original quiz was one about uh, Darwin, Dr. Plum, uh, because I think I think King of Time is jealous that uh, we've met Darwin and he hasn't. I did very badly on the quiz. We're in the woods, for instance. This is the woods. We got zero mushrooms. <coughs> I thought it was a mushroom. Is there a bear in the woods? We know there are snakes. We do not yet know if there's any more wildlife. I can see the right. Yeah, that's how I know. Who, that's how I know where I am, Brezenta. King of Time was too young to remember Darwin. Yeah, I think that's probably true. <laughs> You're too young to remember Darwin, King of Time. That's the other thing, Dr. Pam. Uh, King of Time is too young to remember Nick Clegg. We need to find mushrooms. Oh, we've got leg injury. Oh, he's t t t tw 12 years old, so it's fun. Where are these mushrooms? We've got leg injury, guys. Oh no, we've walked into a tree. Uh, I, well, I was Dr. Flat, but, but they stood me up, so I was instead playing with a, with a man who I think is several hundred years old. Actually, we know what year Darwin was born, right? We, we know Darwin was born in 18-oh-something. 1807. Right, there's the bus stop. 809 or something, yeah. Can anyone see a mushroom? Probably 
problem is we've got a leg injury. We're quite low on energy because we, we did um, spend a lot of time still in the sun uh, doing, a qu doing, a, doing a quiz. You're once in a room with Nick Clegg and Brian Eno. Oh, there's a mushroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do we bank on one mushroom? We should be very careful because there really is no way of finding where you are unless you get lost. And we're very low on health. So getting lost at this point would kill us. I can't run, can I, prison? I've got leg injury. Get lost, a bit rude. Okay, I was that. Now, I can believe King of Time doesn't really know who Brian Eno is, other than he's the guy that wrote the Spore music. King of Time thinks of him as Spore's Brian Eno. Yeah, that is Brian Ferry. Hello, Funky Mr. Chicken. I also hope everyone is well. Can I include you in that? Right, okay, we made it out of the woods safely. Yeah, I mean, I think it is fine to not know who Brian Eno is, aren't I? Um, Bino, yeah, he's gone. He's gone yoke these days. That's what. That's what I'd heard. That's what I'd heard. To keep, uh, keep time. Can I recreate Blair Witch? In what in what in what sense? Okay, instantly got a problem here. In that I've no idea which way the bus stop is. In this way, look at there. Oh, we can't run. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. You think so? What do you, what do you think that means, Brenton? <laughs> I can wobble the camera if that's if this is if this is what you want. I'm on the camera. I can stand with my face against the tree. It's my back's to whoever's coming that way. I don't think I can look at my own face. I think that's the problem. Where are the thoughts doing it? Well, I can't run, can I? There's a mushroom. Oh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't run, I've got a leg injury. Oh 
Oh no, that's not building. We have gone the wrong way. Yeah, we've gone the wrong way. There are mushrooms, but they're, they're, they're quite spaced out over quite, over a very large map. I sort of think they're sort of randomly placed. It's a very relaxing game that I don't think they wanted to ruin with the presence of too many mushrooms. To be fair, I remember for a lot of this game we were doing a quiz about Charles Darwin, which is it's arguably our own fault we've not we've not found more mushrooms. We didn't remember to bring any um any water or food, but we did bring our little Charles Darwin quiz book. Right, what's the what's the strategy here? Do I have to bank our two mushrooms? Um, can I see any mushrooms? That's the question. Death or glory? Well, it will it will be death, Brett Hunter. Oh, hang on, glory, glory's coming up. Dog, dog, dog. Now I reckon we've got to. We just got to play safe. We've got to play sensible. Oh, we're stuck in a tree. I think we've got to play. I think we've got to play sensibly. I think we're going to. Uh, we're going to bank the mushrooms. We're, we're very tired. We our energy is running out of broad water. That's not normally the way it goes. Maybe it's to do with the weather. And this will, we will make less than the cost of a license, but we will make more than the zero we'll make if we just die. Probably is without the book. You don't know if you've got valuable mushrooms or completely worthless ones. Okay, low energy is now lit up. Oh, you can't see leg injury because it's behind my head. You know, let me, uh, while we waiting for the bus, let me uh, adjust myself. My legs behind my head, yeah, there you go, look. Oh, uh, oh well done, everyone, we completed the game. Is that Bigfoot behind that tree? Oh, it could have been. You know, we'll never know. We did get $29, so those were valuable mushrooms. That was all right. That was good. Okay, that now gives us $42 total. But with plenty of mushroom licenses in the, in the bag. Okay, we, we can't buy anything. Oh yeah, we're still one. Okay, Yeah, 
Yeah, there's Book of Mushrooms. It costs twelve hundred dollars. I'm sorry, Ken, because there's still no Chris Farley alert. Yeah, exactly, go on. We're going to need to go back into the forest, I think. Gonna get picking. It is a very expensive shop, yeah. Is he checked Amazon? Can you get it from a seller? I feel like this game would be this game would be playable if they gave you some of the items early on. But that's gonna take so much grinding to get that book. Well, exactly, Brett Center. Okay, sunny, it's 26 degrees. Let's get, uh, let's two begin. Okay, let's two begin. Let's two begin. Okay, where are we? We're down here. Okay. Well, let's make sure we find one of these bus stops. Okay, now we don't know really which one of these is which, do we? I think we've got to assume it's this. I think we've got to assume if we take the right fork, this one, will there be a bus stop down here? Or back that way. Maybe some hammies for energy would get you more cash. Oh, well, because we could stay out longer. Yeah, but to be, to be able to bring a sandwich with us, okay, we need to upgrade the hut. And you have to do it sequentially with lots of updates, so that will also cost loads of money, and we can't afford it. But yeah, you're right, that would make sense. If we could buy like food so we could stay out longer, we would make more money. Is there a pay to him? <coughs> Sorry. It feels to me like they meant there to be, right? Because you can't advance. You all, it like... But as far as I can tell, I don't think there is. No, I don't think you can I don't think you can pay money. I'm not seeing any mushrooms. I have been pointed towards a slightly better version of this. Well, a similar game that's a slightly better game. So we could maybe try that uh, another time. Because I am starting to think we're not going to get a ham sandwich, are we? There's a mushroom.
Ja, mach schon. Right, let's try and find where the uh, thing is. Bus stop. Right, we find the bus stop. It is strange that it's so easy to die in a in a, in a wooded area with such a frequent bus service. Right, we'll go into the woods a bit. Where are all the mushrooms? There's one. Uh, Animata Junquilia. Is that a mushroom? It does look like a mushroom. Purple, comp. Okay. There's a mushroom over there. There, there is, there is one there. Is this the one he meant? Is this the one he meant? He meant Hygo Forus Eben Ebenus. No, it's a different one. in the woods is it's very shady it's quite easy to miss the ones that are uh, you know not obvious So someone graffitied this bus stop. Stas. Then I almost have a go at translating uh, you know, 
more than welcome. Stas, hop, boo, 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 and la. Don't think it needs translating. That's fine, that's fine, presenter. Do you think that because um, it's obvious what it says? Or you, you just don't just don't care? We should just be prioritizing mushrooms. Clear as day. Same like mushrooms again, are we? Also, we've walked quite a long way into the woods. Stas. Stay terribly alert, slippy. It could be. It could be going on. It is very easy to injure your leg out here. So it could have been warning about that. People are enjoying this relaxing stream. Um, I appreciate the game isn't necessarily the most interesting or good. Four mushrooms. Just some light. Okay, this is the road.
can't, we can't sprint, I guess. Don't know if that affects our energy. Obviously affects our sprinting bar. This blow which I have for you. Hello, Frigilus. And um, well, we've had we've got some mushrooms. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. There's one. Mushroom, it's mushroom. That's Lataria Sping. Well, we've got it. I think I'd be willing to persist with this game if I had some hope of being able to unlock the things. But I think they're so... They're going to need so many trips to the same forest. I don't know if it's worth it. Aussie lives for you. Everything's expensive. Attention in front of the swamp, go back. Oh, we must be here. We must be here in front of the swamp. It's funny to me, they haven't even bothered. Even though you can't get out of here, even though there is an invisible wall, they haven't bothered to make that road just stretch off into the distance. It does just stop. Is there a Shrek mod for Mushroom Picker Simulator? I'll be honest, I haven't looked. Um, I hope not. I don't think any, I don't think it's a particularly vibrant um, modding community. There's a Micellar Renati. You think everything has Shrek mods? Is that true? Uh, what is the stats bust off again? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> even the Keith Jaguar in uh, this game. I think it is. I think. I think that it is true that I think that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It is true that the bread Santa thinks it. Yeah. Seven mushrooms. Oh, balls. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one. Oh, there's one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not a mortal enemy. Oh, no. A worse enemy might have got us. Am I going to play left for dead with dead with the threat one? I don't know what that means, Spread Center. Um We're in trouble. Guys, we're in trouble. This is not the first time this has happened. Cats are in trouble. We've sort of clipped inside the tree. And now we can't move in any direction. I think sprinting just sort of runs the sprint bar down, even though we're not sprinting. We're in trouble. I'm in trouble. Should have brought the axe, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there was. I don't even think there is an axe. I don't even think axe is an option. There's a mod for Left 4 Dead that replaces the Big Bear with Shrek and plays Smash Mouth when he's about. I don't think I necessarily know what Left 4 Dead is. Right, are there any controls that can get us out of this mess? Uh, view. Oh, let's just look at it. We can't interact with it. We don't have binoculars. We can't drink. I think we're just stuck. I don't think there's anything I can do. There isn't a jump button. Looking up doesn't unload the tree. Or does it? No. Thought we'd move them for a second. It's a zombie FPS. Highly rated short levels. Okay, I will look into it. Oh, I think... I think we're going to die in this tree. We're going to die in this tree. We're going to die in this tree. That's true, yeah. Hopefully we could just chomp down a mushroom. Uh, 
Okay, what time is it? It's, it's half six. We've got an hour until King of Time. Um, have people had enough of mushroom picking? Should we, should we do something different? Should we do something different? Because we are stuck in the tree. I, there's only so many times I can get killed by being stuck in a tree. Yeah, what, yeah to do something different, or yeah to keep being stuck. Depends what the different is. What would you like the different to be, Red Santa? I think it is, I think it is canon, yeah. <laughs> I think it is canon. <laughs> the guy, we've just died. <laughs> the mushroom picker, the mushroom picker has died in the tree. He was trapped in the tree. He's dead, though. He's dead in real life. Um... It has to be something I haven't stored. It could, we could do. I mean, we've only got out. We could do a little bit of truck if you wanted, um, or we could do uh, we could do some red alert. Yeah, F's in the chat for the mushroom picker. Uh, here are his legs. He, he's he's dead. He's dead in this tree. Does he have a wife? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Got low energy. We're in trouble. A lot of people are saying truck. Well, if we had a truck, we could drive out of this, you know? Yeah, okay, we could do a little bit of truck because uh, we've got an hour. We've got an hour before King of Time. So I tell you what, I'm going to go to the. I'm going to go and get a drink actually because I do not have a drink. <laughs> and then I will. We'll we'll let this guy die. We'll bring back. We'll bring up trucks. I don't think we need to wait for him to die. I think we can just... I think he is canonically. I think he is canonically. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll roll the window away and then this is this is him. This is him slipping out of reality. He's gone, though. He's gone. We're not going to see him again. F's in the chat for Mushroom Picker. He's, he's, he's dead in a tree. He's dead in a tree. Um, right. I'm going to take a little break and then I'll be back in a minute and we'll do some, uh, we'll do some, we'll do some truck. Right, I'll see you in a minute. All that stuff will be terrible. Right, I'll be back in a minute.
back. And how's the one? Oh, hello, Natalie. Uh, sorry, the um, the mushroom picker got stuck in a tree and he, he, he's died. The mushroom picker is dead. Um, I can demonstrate this. Because he's actually not, still not quite dead. But basically, for, this isn't the first time this has happened. We've clipped into a tree. And we cannot, we can't move. We're just stuck in the tree. Oh, hang on, Brad Santa wants me to do a Blair Witch. If I just, if I just turn him in, if I just turn him in facing the tree, uh, then that, that's, that's, uh, is that is that acceptable, Brad Santa? Just dead. Just dead. Okay, well, he's dead. Ew, two. He's dead. There he goes. He's gone. Yeah, R.I.P. R.I.P. Mushroom Guy. Uh, can I quit the game? Um, right, let's see if I can load up, uh, see if I can load up some truck. Is there a mod here who can change the game? Or, um, did I turn that off after the Ledger Suit Larry incident? <laughs> Maybe I turned that off after the Ledger Suit Larry incident. Yeah, Larry Gate. Right, okay, let's hope this loads, because this is, this is... Right, okay. Activity. Capture truck, please. There also may not be a mod here because all the mods are are working, which is fine. Right, okay. What have we done? We've driven to Manchester, right? Right, hang on. Let me uh, let me change the game first. Just don't want anyone. Don't want any fans of uh, Mushroom Picker Simulator coming in and being disappointed. You know. We did deliver the cyanide, yeah. Yeah, we, we had hello King of time. Yeah, we had we had delivered the cyanide to Manchester. That that that's now been done. We now hope to have a job. But right, where where are we? So I wasn't expecting to stream this, so I have not checked where we were. Where were we in terms of where were we in terms of that's for your welcome you're you're allowed to pop out Pop in, whatever. What? Um, had we dealt with all the... Had we dealt with all the rules, etc. We did get it delivered, yeah. We had to spin around a lot. Right, now the only thing we didn't do is... Dr. Plum asked us to do a delivery normally, and we didn't do that. It wasn't normal. It went weird. The only way I can think that I can deal with the, uh, the, the contradictory loops that people are going to put me in here is that whenever someone adds a rule or makes a request, I have to, I, I have to obey the most recent rule or request because that's all I can do, right? But if that contravenes an earlier one, then I have to do the earlier one at a later time, right? 
So Dr. Plum wanted a normal delivery. Someone else did something that made it not normal. So I still owe Dr. Plum a normal delivery. If you see it, I think that's the only way I can possibly deal with these things. So yeah, we owe Dr. Plum a normal delivery. So Do Dr. Plum, oh, let me get the wording up. Dr. Plum said, uh, Dr. Plum said, Dr. Plum said, once you deliver the water, take the job that will make the most money and complete it normally, brackets, and legally. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. And I think it puts the onus on, it puts the onus on you, the viewer. Yeah, but the problem is, Gomelon, that won't work, will it? Because, because often the things that people donate for later will be very specific to the moment, won't they? Like, how can I do a turnaround after the delivery is finished? I have to obey the most recent thing, I think. And it's on you, it's on you to 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 realize your 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 that there's something else in play. Okay, do we think Dr. Plem means from Manchester where we are or just the most the best, you know, the one we can get the most money for in game? Because it's roof lights to Amsterdam, but if we go in game, it's probably one of these special deliveries. You think Dr. Plum means from Manchester? That would make it roof lights to Amsterdam. <laughs> hang, on, hang on, Dr. Plum. We're not sure. Gomelon, Gomelon thinks it might, you might have meant from Manchester. <laughs> I am poor. Hello, Dr. Plum. Uh, whole game would be a special delivery heat exchanger from Naples to Turney. This is one where we'll get an escort. Oh, yeah, on quick jobs, you can take anyone from all over the map. Yeah, the, the only ones that are available are from places you've unlocked. Because you don't, you can't see the jobs you haven't unlocked. So I think it's this one. Also, this one feels fairly tamper proof because um, you can't go that far away from the escort. So uh, heat exchanger to tourney, I think is probably. Let's look at total price just to be. Oh no, it's the most for it's the most for both. Yeah, well, yeah. The rules are quite strict on the escort ones. You have to. Okay, let's take the job. Heat exchanger to tourney. Oh, the only other thing is, how long have we got to pay off the loan? Because we can take out a loan. We can take out a loan before they repossess our trucks. What do they say? They said we've got two days. You're about to find out, Key of Time. You're about to find out. Shall we do this job and then take out the loan? If we don't have enough money. You're about to find out, King of Time. Here we are. Got all these lads involved. There's the heat exchanger. So these are things that generally they're massive. Or they're, you know, they're special deliveries. So you get a little cutscene. There you go. Um, you're about to haul a special transport cargo. There are two escort vehicles that will lead you. Please be careful and follow their leads and suggestions in the route advisor. Special transports like this don't stop on a red signal and have right of way in most situations. During these deliveries, checkpoints are made more often in order to save your current progress. Avoid any possible conflict with the escort vehicles and keep the cargo between them. If you hit the escort vehicle, uh, you fail. You have to restart. Don't drive out of the estimated route, nor to filling stations, rest stops, etc. 
Obey speed limitations, which will be ensured by the front escort vehicle. Watch out for the overtaking traffic and other drivers on the road. Uh, here's the change lane manoeuvre. But yeah, here we are. Here's the heat exchanger. Also, we've got little flashy that we can turn these orange lights on and off. Yeah, I think I think that might have been. And we still got Doug to guide us as well. Yeah, it does seem mad we've been trusted with uh, a, a heat exchanger, doesn't it? Just make sure we've got lights on. Okay, here we go. And I think actually we need to get out of this lane because it's going to be too. It's not going to fit through that gap, is it? Okay, I think that's our back escort vehicle. This is very exciting. Right, okay, well, we will be... Right, so I think this... Oh, no, we have to go this way. Yeah, so there's often, like, police Get roadblocks. Turn right. Okay, thanks. Turn right. Okay, we'll put our indicator on. <laughs> I don't know what they... Oh, God. Okay, the lamp post is a challenge. These aren't tricky. Alright, here's our here's our escort guy. Here's our escort guy. So we have to just follow this van. And there'll be another there's another one that will have pulled up behind us. There you go, the police air up. Now. Oh, big horn. Go straight. Oops. Then turn right. Oh, oh no. Turn right. Yeah, right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It's a big honk. I'm just I'm checking whether we've got the other. I've forgotten what the button for the other horn is. Oh no, that's map. Oops. Uh oh, oh no, oh no, I've decoupled, I've decoupled, big mistake, big mistake. Don't worry, I was just... I was just looking for the other horn. Don't think we have a second horn. I didn't mean to decouple, give your time. Right, so we don't. So this isn't illegal. We're allowed to go through a red light because we've got an esc We've got the escort, and also that was green, so we're fine. I didn't mean to decouple. Get ready to turn right. Now the downside of these these levels are. Um, turn right. You do it. You, you you have to go very slowly because the thing you're carrying is very heavy. The front escort vehicle is going to warn other drivers, adapt your speed to mature the person. Okay, well, fine. Yeah, I understand. Oh, fuck. That was fine. Well, that was, that was all right. That was, um, that's, that's a uh, standard procedure. Oh, cinematic camera seemed to I seemed to clip through the tunnel there. Oh, it's loud, isn't it? Maybe we should put our hazards on as a warning. Oh, there's the police. Thank you, officer. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I didn't realise I had to wait. I think we're quite close to the... <laughs> yeah. Right, if we hit this truck, uh, we have to restart, basically. We fail. Okay, we've got the hazards on. Where's the rear vehicle gone? What's the rear vehicle up to? I'm careful. I've got good... Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Took his time, didn't he? 
Okay, we're off. Oh, we put the handbrake on. Here we go. Whoa, look at that cinema. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Fuck! Why did he just stop? <laughs> There's a roadblock, right? Exit now. I was being careful. He just he just slammed his brakes on. Honk it. Honk at me. I'm going to take off the accelerator here just in case he decides to stop at this junction. He hasn't, we're fine. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Yeah, that's fine. We just, just, we just come. Exit now. Oh, hang on, this is tricky. This is tricky. This is tricky, because we are about the width of that <laughs> that turn there. That's rush rude coming on. <laughs> Rasa, come on, look where you've started. Oh, everyone's saying it out. That was tricky, and we got through it. We've got a tiny bit of damage to the trailer, but it's massive, it'll be fine. Oh, everyone's saying, everyone's saying. Right now, I think for the tolls, we can go through a secret side barrier that opens up for us. Which is fun. Yeah, there you go, look. Andy, you weren't even here. <laughs> Andy's raced across the room. Raced across the room to, to slam tick down on the keyboard. Oh, watch out for the sign. Yeah, we went under it, we're fine. Any <laughs> excuse you get. Yeah. Andy was here, he's just stopped eating dinner for a sack. <laughs> yeah, he was get right. And then exit right. Mid dinner to oh my god, I've got to, I've got I've gotta to get to the keyboard. Exit right. Okay, we're exiting right. Here we go. Okay, these, yeah, these are, any turning is quite tricky. Oh, this isn't too bad. It's quite a powerful truck, I think. You can tell by its horn, you know? Yeah, no, no, I, I'm not, well, no, that's not true. I am not, I am knocking you for it, Andy. But I, I do understand. Yeah, that is, is exactly it. Is, it is good community spirit. It is it is a te it is a test. There we go. We're fine. Okay, we're on the way to A. Don't really need to indicate because the traffic's been stopped for this bit. It also gets tricky when you get to a bit where they where the traffic is just allowed on the road. 
and you've got people trying to overtake you, but you're quite wide. What's this? A uh, 70 ton heat exchanger. 70 ton? What even? What is a heat exchanger? Okay, we are now speeding. Now, who's doing this for speeding in this situation? Okay, we are, we're stuck at, stuck at cruise control on the legal speed limit. It's because we're going downhill, Doc. Oh, see, now traffic, so it's, traffic is on the road now. Now we need to be careful. Good afternoon, officer. Oh, another kind of sign. Oh, we're coming out of lane. Keep right. I will keep right, thank you. Thank you, Doug. Okay, will we be able to get out of debt without having to pay, without having to say, without having to take out another loan? Do you even listen to me? All right, Doug, go downhill. Oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the other problem with slowing down when something's this heavy. Uh, if you put the brakes on too hard, you will just slam to a complete... You won't be able to get the speed again. Thanks, everyone. See the rear vehicles are done. There he is, still going. Part of flashy lights on. Okay, we need to. That's fine. Oh no! Moving to the rear escort. You better see some pieces to be well, I think it might be windy. Oh yes, here we go. Ding dang do. I mean they are genuinely quite difficult to drive, but hang on, this could be salvageable. This is fine. Okay, we need to, we're probably very close to the rear vehicle. Well, if I get this back on, this is going to be... If I get this back on, this is like... Come on, come on. We're back, we're back! We're back. Yeah, I just about managed to jab it the other way, come on. To sort of stop it from rolling over.
But it just started sort of moving all over the road. How damaged are we? Two percent damage to the cargo. I would say we may be we may be in danger of, of Dr. Plum telling us this doesn't count as the normal and legal delivery. If anyone's reviewing the clip, uh, what was would you say that was my error, <laughs> or did, you know was it just circumstances beyond my perfectly normal and legal circumstances? I think I might have done something stupid and had to swerve. Come back. Well, let's not let's not jump to conclusions, Red Sensor. Oh no, the lights have gone off. Okay, we've now also broken the law, so there's a lot of uh, there's, a, there's a lot of evidence coming in for not a legal, not not a, not a normal and legal delivery. I think I might have been jamming keys to try and get it moving again and I may have turned the lights off. And we've still got three hours till... Uh, where are we going? Uh, it doesn't actually say on here. Rome? Are we going from Rome? I've, I've lost track. Uh, Turney is where we're going from Naples. on the truck. Here, sucker, normal delivery. <laughs> Come out in on a special delivery, mate. Okay, we don't get to see a nice uh, Italian sunset. Slow down. Yeah, all right, dog. Where was that warning when we were rolling over? No, I think I'm a hero. I think I saved, you know, I think I saved us from disaster. I mean, I also caused the disaster. But, you know, you can't have everything, can you? <laughs> so, yeah, a good job. Is anyone here on the stream? Yeah, what they're over there. You were gonna let the crash slide, but then I got fined by the, the policeman. I did I did break the law, yeah. Oh also we have stalled. Well that's not my fault. But well, it is my fault because I crashed the truck, but it's fine. Onwards. What's Crom got to do with it, Red Center? Oh, what? Because Crom is a hero. I don't think Crom is a hero. Hmm. 
Look, let's not discuss whether or not I've even. Well, no, I have already broken the law, haven't I? I'm just saying, worse things can still happen. We've still got two, we've got two and a half hours of the job to go. I'm not talking shit about Grom. I just. I mean. He might like Nazi things, and his robot broke down. Rom did forget to switch the robot on, Red Sensor. I, don't, I think that's undeniable. That could happen to anyone. Yeah, but it did happen to Crom. Okay, we're going to turn very gently around the corners. So orange lights start to take effect in the uh, in the dusk. Going to put the brakes on because okay, we're coming up to another another toll booth. We're going to go through the secret toll gate. We're also going to do a little stall, but that's fine. Got a little truck pointing us the way to go. could do with is some one or more of our drivers coming in with a job oh we do seem to have stalled one or more uh, one of our drivers coming in with a job as we come in and 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 the load installment doesn't go out because if we can get to zero then the bank will get off our back and not take our trucks or garages away Okay, let's get let's get into this lane. Oh, should do with uh, uh, Joseph S coming in with a big job. Stalled. Well, cool. we got cinema. This is a nice, pleasant, relaxing drive. We can, uh, let's pop some nice, gentle music on the radio. Nice, <laughs> gentle puppy remix.
don't think Truck FM would be normal or legal, Brad Santa. Oh, we have got some money coming in. Uh, it's, it is Joseph S. Joseph S makes us 1,283 euros. Thank you, Joseph S. Maybe don't do thank you, Joseph S. in the... Uh, oh, fuck! Yeah, I am. I'm, yeah. They're very litigious, the Poddington Peas. That is what I've said. The van in front doesn't give me much signal when he's when he's when he's slowing someone down. It's too noisy in here. Keep right. Oh, I did meant to. I did mean to. Uh, I did mean to show you. Well. Right. What's the what's the show? What do you what do you say to show someone when it's audio when it's audio? Because Hulk Hogan does have a rap album. Present? I don't think I want to present you Hulk Hogan's rap album. Play, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I want to do a listen along to Hulk Hogan's um, uh, rap album Hulk Rules. Oh, well, we're going through another secret toll barrier. This is a banger. This is not from the album Hulk Rules. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for it, Dr. Plan. Dark now. You can really see our orange lights. Oops. Okay, I think we're going downhill. Let's just hit the brakes. nearly there. Keep right, and then exit right. Mm, we do seem to be 18,000 euros in debt. Exit right. Exit right, okay, well this is, okay. This feels like it's the sort of final boss of this. Because surely there's not going to be, this is it now, we're off the motorway. Oh, we've got to come straight. Okay, this is tricky. We've got to come straight off, and then we're going to go right round the, do the little toll barrier. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, we're close to that van. We're close to that barrier. We're fine. We're fine. At the roundabout. We're fine. Take the second exit. Okay, roundabouts are also also bad for us. Here we go. Exit now. Oh, this is fine, this is fine. There we go. 
that it? Are we, are we home dry? Home dry? Home dry? Is that a saying? Home dry. Thank you, Sean. It's home dry. Home and dry. That sounds better, yeah. Yeah, HD's in the chat for uh, if you think we're home dry. Unfortunately, yeah, for anyone that missed the, the sad events of the, the last hour or so, um, the uh, the mushroom picker from Mushroom Picker Simulator is not home dry. He is dead in a tree. He's got caught in a tree. He's died in the tree. Oh, we've discovered Turney. Yeah, DIT for <laughs> for dead in a tree. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Oh, hang on. Right, turn okay. Okay, turn right. Turning in the dark is gonna be tricky. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna need to go in this other lane, and then we're gonna to have to turn at the last minute to give us enough space. And then we need to be over here, otherwise that's gonna hit the cars. Right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. We're good. Okay, we're home dry now. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Okay, we, there is a watch here roundabout to deal with before we before we're home dry. I think somewhere in my mind, oh, we've stopped. <laughs> somewhere in my mind as well, there was the expression "home and hosed." Which again, I don't really know what it means. This actually looks a bit bendy, this last bit. Get ready to turn right. Alright. Turn right. Okay, this isn't illegal. We're allowed to go through red lights because we're, we're special. Okay, yeah, these are quite tricky streets to drive a. What's it, what's it called? A uh, heat exchanger through. Get ready to turn left. Yeah, we're ready to turn left. Turn left. What? I don't know what we've got trailer damage on there. We must have hit the... I don't know. Just the trailer straining under the weight of the heat exchanger, maybe. I mean, no, we, we definitely hit something. Got 2% damage to the cargo, which is, you know, bad. But... You know. Get ready to turn right. Things happen, and now we're home dry. Okay, these are right. these are quite tight turns. Come on, get. Oh, right now he's now leaving us now. Right, okay, we've been escorted. Now we just have to finish the. Now we just have to. Now we just have to finish it ourselves. Get ready to turn right. Surely it's not here. It's oh, it's right here. All right. Turn right. Yeah. All right. Thanks, mate. Doing a little dab. Right, we're here at Ack. What's happened? <laughs> Why have we stopped?
Oh, I have caught it on something. Hang on, there's two diffs on this. Let's muscle through at this point. Come on, muscle, muscle. Muscle. Snagged it, I've snagged it. Okay, let's use our muscle. And you're a big strong truck. You're not strong enough. There we go, we're through, we're through. We're not through, we're not through. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, home drive bedwear. What have we actually caught on? The wall. <laughs> the problem is we're trying to drive a very long thing, you know? That's where we've gone wrong here. What? I can't actually see the issue. Does any of these angles show me the issue? No, that's the cockpit, that's not showing me the issue. Okay, you're going to show me the issue. Oh, is this one? Okay, I found... Okay, issue located. Issue located. Oh. Oh, no. Issue, 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 still an issue. Look, to the best of my knowledge, we were home dry. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, we're on a bank now, but that'll be fine. Okay. Right, okay, now, now, now it's safe to put HDs in the chat. God. Um, we didn't do any extra damage there, so that's fine. I've already forgotten what TIT. You're holding off. I think that's wise. I think that's wise. <laughs> but I think I think we just round this corner and then we're just pulling into a space. Here we are, safe and sound. Safe and sound. Although Doug didn't say normal and legal, which I think is quite damning. I don't need to skip the parking. I'll be all right for the parking. Thanks. We even do the parking in cinematic. I do. I couldn't quite do the parking in cinematic. Maybe I've clipped through, but that's fine. There we go. Home. Dry. Satisfactory. Okay, we did lose a bit of money for damage. We did level up. Okay, what do we want? Do we want just-in-time deliveries? We could unlock just-in-time deliveries. We could um, unlock some longer deliveries. That might be, I mean, it's going to cause trouble, but that may open higher value deliveries for, um, in the way Dr. Plum is thinking of, something with a high price that has to go a long way. Or we can, there's still three of these. We can still have uh, gases, uh, flammable solids, or uh, do we have corrosive substances? Uh, yeah, we do. 
So those are the two. We could have gases or flammable solids. Or in time deliveries. Well, we've already got basically, Brad Center, if you get one in each of these, it, it unlocks that type of delivery. And then the, the extra ones are just more like you get um, more money for getting them. Flowerable, yeah, I think that's I think that's good. Flowerable liquids. No, flowerable solids. Okay, what did oh, did I click that one by mistake? Okay, flowerable solids, good. You're not swapping on it. No, flower, okay. No, well, that's true, but you know, people can change their spots, can't they? Right, what do you reckon the plan is? Do I take out enough money to cover our debt? Do I try and do another job? I I still need to do a job to get the um to get to to fulfill Dr. Plem's request. So let's see what job that would be. Um again, I guess we're in the whole map. Or everything we've unlocked. Looks like it's either the same journey with an industrial condenser or a helicopter from Ajaccio to Montpellier. Although this one is the more money, actually, the the another another escort job is the is the more money. To be honest, we're probably not going to get to do it. Is King of Time alive? Not yet. Okay, we'll do we'll do helicopter. Um, well, we can make a start on it. Although, because this is a ferry job, I think we need to make a decision on our finance situation. You're waiting it for the shop. Okay, well, I mean, they come up again, but yeah. Because this is going to involve us being on a ferry, I think we need to make a decision on what we do about our debt. You can see what this looks like. There we go. It is a visible helicopter as well. Yeah, I think we need to take out a loan. Because we're still eight grand in debt. We need to at least take out 10,000 to cover the... Uh, well, we can't take out a massive loan because we already have so many loans. We can take out a 50,000 euro loan. That's the biggest loan we can take out. Max loan? Who's he? Okay, look, fifty thousand is the most we can take out because we've already we've already have three loans out. <laughs> okay, we're taking that. Okay, there we go. Overdraft settled, so that's dealt with. Okay, the bank aren't going to repossess our stuff. Uh, we can still keep all of our trucks, which is good because they are quite a key source of income for us. Right, let's make a start with this helicopter. Okay, let's turn the lights on. We've learned from our mistakes. The lights are on. Evidence. Oh, there we go. The lights are on. Let's test the horn. It's not not allowed to do it. Not, not, it's not as good as the last horn. But Right, okay, we need to go left here. Here's the helicopter. It's a twenty-hour job, but a lot of it is um, a lot of it is ferry, because we're going. If you have a look on the map, we're going from Ajaccio in Corsica, a ferry down to Sassari, and then Sassari to Barcelona, and then driving Barcelona to Montpellier. Do you want to unlock Montpellier? I think which would be useful. Turn right. Okay, this is um, this is 
the opposite of we're home wet because this is not going to fit okay this is a good plem rules delivery because um because ready because it's a very fragile cargo it will damage easily turn left so i think it does need some real sensible legal driving oh that's legal that's legal we indicated yeah come on Thank you. Well, I'll try not to, but it will, like, little... N it's a fragile cargo, so, so um, it means that, you know, it doesn't take much to damage it. Look, maybe it'll get damaged on the boat, that's and that's not my fault. Take the second exit. He's look I'm looking at the road. I'm mainly looking at the road. Exit now. It feels wrong to take a helicopter on a boat, doesn't it? it feels like the sky is more its domain. What do you think they want a helicopter for in Montpellier? At the roundabout, take the second exit. Yeah, a helicopter on a lorry exit on a boat, now. exactly. Can Get ready um, to turn right. can someone tell turn me right. when King of Time goes live? Is uh, you know. You know, we should. We should. I, I am conscious that I raided his stream late yesterday. Oh, he's just live. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We can probably get to the. We'll get to the ferry here. Oh, it should just be around this corner. Okay, cool. That we should have time to get oh, around this corner safely. I'd like it to be daylight. Go past these nice palm trees. We can probably take this into the ferry, and then that is where we can. That's where we can. Um, we can. Uh, you know, breaking a time. Keep left, and then turn left. No, but I don't want to break the law. We'd all like it to be daylight, but it's just easier for me to see the helicopter, Andy. I'm going to commit to... This is legal. This is legal. Oh, no. This is illegal now. It's not illegal. It's not illegal. We're just... Okay, I'm, st I'm starting the right. I'm starting the right. Is that a statue of Napoleon? That's a, sta left. That's a statue of Napoleon, right? Who, of course, was banished to Corsica, right? Is that what we've done to Joseph S? That's not legal. What's not legal? What, a statue of uh, Napoleon? It's legal to have a statue. Statue's illegal. Get ready to turn left. It's legal and normal to have a big Napoleon statue. Yeah. Well, it is. It's where he lived, right? It's where he had to. It's where he was uh, exiled to. Which is, I think, what we've done to Joseph S. Isn't it? It's not legal to banish a colleague. Well, I mean, he does have a. Tr I mean, he does. He does work. He is employed. I, I don't. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna. Okay, there's ten seconds left on the raid. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll do another afternoon stream. It could be some more truck. Uh, I'll see. I'll let you know. Okay, we're gonna safely get on this boat. Then we're gonna raid King of Time. Goodbye, everyone. Uh, hello to anyone who's watching the VOD or not on the raid. Uh, I can't see the chat now. I can only see King of Time's chat. But we're on the boat. We're successfully on the boat.
Let's go to Porto Torres. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do two. We're gonna do two quick. Uh, gonna do two quick ferries because we need to also need to go to Barcelona. And I will forget how to do the second ferry by the time we come back I'll to this. No problem, everyone. Uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy your time stream. Well, it's not really extra, but I just started the I just started the raid and then I tabbed out of OBS, so I couldn't see. I couldn't see when it. I could only see it counting down. Turn right. Right here we are. We're safely, legally in Barcelona. Right now, let's go and watch King of Time stream. Uh, no problem, Andy. Right, bye everyone. I'll uh, see you in the well, see you in the stream. Right, bye everyone. See you later. Goodbye. Why do I watch in the bot? I just feel like a double raid. <laughs> Let's double raid. <laughs> okay, we're going in. <laughs> right, bye. Let's raid. Right, bye everyone.